This morning, thousands lost power for a brief time in Riverside. It has since been restored. In fact, here at our News for yeah. Jack studios, we saw the lights flicker this morning and the TVs and the lights actually went out. Well, thankfully, JEA has been able to uh, get the power back on in the Riverside area, but it's just a taste of what we should expect over the next couple of days as electric authorities, of course, prepare for the storm. Channel 4's Ashley Harding is looking at um, how the beaches as well as JEA are preparing and what you need to know. Beaches Energy is taking this seriously. We do know that Jacksonville Beach City officials are working closely with them, so they have a plan in motion if and when the power does go out in Jacksonville Beach. But JEA is also doing the same thing. They want to stress to people that the power can go out at any time, so they want people to be prepared and be self-sufficient, have items needed to be self-sufficient if and when that happens, because it could take some time for the crews to be able to get to them to restore the power. Some Thing they want people to be aware of. A spokesperson also says the company has already reached out to tree removal crews because downed trees can be a big problem when trying to restore the power. Something they want to make sure you have are flashlights and batteries. Also have food and water for your families. This includes your pets. And if the power goes out while you're cooking meals, remember to turn off those appliances right away. We're talking about things like your oven or your stove because it's easy easy to forget that they were on and when the power goes back on those appliances could pose a fire threat. Now JEA says when the power goes out be sure to report that outage right away but understand it can take some time. Do you know that the last storm we had Hermine 80 percent of our customers reported outages online so take advantage of that understand though that if the winds get too high we have to bring our crews in because it's no longer safe for them to work near the lines something else that jea spokesperson wants people to know is when that storm does come in if there are heavy rains and winds if there is damage in your neighborhood be sure to go around and check on your neighbors make sure they're okay especially the elderly or people with special needs they want to stress stress that to get through this they have to get through this together i'm ashley harding channel 4 the local station if you haven't already fill up your gas tank because if power goes out the pumps won't work it is a run on gas stations, and yeah. some ran out of gas. In fact, that happened just last night. Channel 4's Chris Parento is joining us now live. Chris, good morning. Good morning. They were out of gas here at this Shell station on Racetrack Road last night, and they're almost out of gas again now. You can see there is a line of people here now waiting for a pump to open up, and it's been this way for almost the last hour here at this station and you know some people that have stopped by have said that there's other gas stations around the area that are looking exactly the same way they're trying to find a pump that's open and a station with gas to fill up their cars because they expect this storm to knock out power and have that potential of not being able to fill up over the next couple of days while the storm is here i talked to the worker one of the workers that's inside of this gas station and she told me that yes they did expect to run out again this morning just like they did last night she says they're hoping to get another delivery from the tanker later on today to have more gas this afternoon but she says just like has happened last night and again this morning they expect that they will run out of that as well but as you can see a lot of people taking this very seriously and filling up while they can I've only lived uh, here for about a year and a half, so I'm not real familiar with the hurricanes coming in around here and, uh, uh, you know, just want to be prepared. One thing that gas station workers here at this station are asking is that everybody be patient. They know that it can be frustrating to sit in traffic and wait for a gas pump. And they know that there's going to be times when somebody may cut somebody else off going to a pump, but they ask everybody to be patient. They say that when they are out of gas, they will let the customers know. And when they do get refueled here at the station, they will also let customers know that as well. Live in St. John's County, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station. All right, Chris.